Welcome to another Transformers Revenge of the Fallen review. This time we're going to be looking at the Deluxe Class Lockdown figure. Now this figure was first announced, I believe, at BotCon. I'm not sure, but it was met to some surprise because the character of Lockdown was originally in Revenge... I mean, sorry, in Animated, who was a very popular character, and a lot of people were pleased to see him brought back for Revenge of the Fallen. And it is a... A nice movie adaptate, adaptation of the uh, character himself. I'll do a little comparison here in a little bit, but it has a lot of spikes on it. It rolls pretty decently, even though sometimes the back wheels don't really like to roll along with it. Maybe it's just mine. It has the uh, purple Decepticon logo right there. And it really doesn't have anything else about it. Uh, so I'll just get on to the little comparison with the uh, anime lockdown. See, the animated version is a little bit bulkier. But it's also supposed to be, it's a little bit more stylish. I mean, it has a lot more curves to it. While this one more, looks more like a modified real uh, hot rod car. And you can see that it's definitely very... Uh, close to it as far as likeliness go. It's just meaner looking though. This yeah, this definitely looks like it would be belonging a car to while this one looks like, you know, it'd be a real car, kind of. Except I've never seen a car quite like that. But that's beside the point. It is a real nasty looking car and you know nothing too special about it. Doesn't do anything cool, no pop up guns or anything, but it, it doesn't need that. It just relies on its meanness. So, yeah, very nice looking vehicle. To start the transformation of lockdown to vehicle mode, just take the vehicle. First, take the engine off, which will become one of his guns. Take the back wheels here and flip them down. Take this uh, hook down here and flip it down. Detach the sides here, and then kind of just pull them away as much as you can. Like that. And then separate the front end of the car like this. And then you can take the front end of the car and, oh, before you do that, push this up and flip this all the way down. You start to see the torso here. Pull down the front, the bumper, and fold them back or fold them forward to make the uh, feet. And then give them a little bit of the old uh, classic Decepticon look with the chicken legs. Fold. And then fold the wheels back. And then. Take the arms, oh, pop them out, actually before you want to do the arms you want to take the uh, windshield here and flip it down like this, detach the arms from the doors here, Okay, take this part and fold it down. This part's a little bit trickier. It's a, it, this part is, yeah, this uh, part of the arm is definitely kind of, I, I had to play for it a little bit to actually figure out how it's actually supposed to move. Like that's kind of weird. But then detach the arm from here. Then fold up the claw or hook. And then one of the coolest parts is transformation of the head. You just pull it up and then it reveals a really neat double neck joint thing that's really cool. And there's lockdown in robot mode. One of the first things you notice about lockdown in his vehicle mode, it, or main, I'm sorry, in his robot mode, is that he is unusually, unusually large for a deluxe class figure. 
uh, just as with his anime counterpart, which I have right here. They lock the RTF lockdown is just a little bit taller, but not by much. As a the regular deluxe, it usually only goes to about his waist here, so that's uh he's more than a bargain for the price he is. Uh, but his articulation is a little bit lacking, especially in the arms. With all the clutter that's around his arms, it's just kind of clumsy. His uh, weapon hook thing is super rubbery. You can almost strain it all the way out. They could have used a little bit of a softer plastic. I mean, harder plastic. I mean, this is just stupid. Uh, but overall, the design is great. He does have some of the Mecha Live gimmick in his legs here. When you rotate his legs around, you see those gears in there turning. He's very asymmetrical too, which I really like. You can tell, you know, in the thighs here, they're just, this one's a little bit bulkier, and, you know, part of the trunk's missing, or the, the rear bumper's missing and gone somewhere. Oh yeah, right here. This is really done really nice. It's very na nasty and mean looking. And I really like the, the, how the head can swivel around in multiple directions. It's very realistic and I like the face on this one better. It's just a lot nastier looking. Even though the original one had a definitely a mean look to it, it's just, this one's is terrifying looking. And uh, you can take his gun here and put it on his arm here. Or, what you can do, if you have the uh, Deluxe Class Ratchet, you can take his gun, his EMP Blaster as it's called, and attach it there. If it would. In theory it's supposed to. There you go. So yeah, it does fit on his arm. It is very uh, a very good homage to the animated characters, uh, Ratchet and Lockdown, who actually could use the same weapon that came with Lockdown, but it's kind of reversed on this case. But yeah, I do really recommend this figure. It's a really great looking display piece, and it has a lot of fun to it towards it, and it just has so much much articulation and detail except for the arms of course but it's this very nasty looking mean just as any Decepticon should and it has animated movie even G1 fans I think would really enjoy enjoy this one so I mean it's not just for Pierce it really kind of crosses the borders between the two so definitely pick this one up until next time thank you for watching <laughs>